Hi, in this video, I will demonstrate how to perform a t-test using a TI calculator to compare the difference between two means. We will use the following example to help us understand the process. It states the following. A researcher wishes to compare the weekly average time students spend exercising versus playing video games. She collects two samples of data. Her claim is that there is a difference in the means. Test this claim using alpha equal to 0 0.01. Note the units of time are in hours. So the first set of data is for exercising. The second set of data is playing video games. The first step is to state the claim. The claim is that there's a difference. This means that the two means are not equal. That's the claim. Since they're not equal, that's an H sub 1 statement. H naught is the opposite statement that the two means are equal. Now, since the population standard deviations are not given, this is a t-test. So we have to calculate n sub 1 minus 1, which is the number of data values, there's 8, for the first sample. 8 minus 1 is 7. We have 9 data values for the second sample. 9 minus 1 is 8. We pick the smaller of the two to be the degrees of freedom. Thus, degrees of freedom is seven. This is a two-tailed test. We have to determine the critical value. We will use table F to do this. So it's two tails. Alpha is 0 0.01. And we go down to level 7, 3.499. Thus, we have our two critical values. One is negative, negative 3.499. The other is positive, positive 3.499. Now we have to calculate the test point. So when we are given raw data, we have to do the following to compute the test point with a TI calculator. The first step is we need to enter the data. So we press stat and we select option one. In this first column, which is labeled L1, we will type the first set of our data. So 10, 20, 4, 6, 3, 16, 8, Bottom. In the second column, we type the second set of data, 9, 15, 25, 9, 19, 30, 16, 13, 9. Next, we press stop. Select test again, and now we select two sample t-test, that's number four. We have to select data since we want to utilize the data we entered in L1 and L2. We look at our first list, make sure it has L1, the second list has L2. We select not equal to. For pooled, we select no. And then we calculate. T is negative 2.168. And that's going to fall between the two critical values in the non critical region. Thus, we do not reject the H naught. And we summarize by saying there is not enough evidence to support the claim. Thanks for watching the video.